Hi everybody, welcome back to round two of the water comparison video series. Tonight we're comparing these five bottles of water, and what all five of these have in common is I bought all five of these when I was in Philadelphia, and I did round one of the comparison videos in Philadelphia, and I brought these back to compare these five. First up, we have Alkaline 8-8 water. This is $2.49. Next up is Alkame water. This is $1.49. And then we have Aqualife 10. This is also $1.49. And then we have the two Niagara bottles of water. First up is Refresh Spring Water from Acme. And then we have Acadia Natural Spring Water from Giant Store. Uh, let's just open them up and start drinking because I'm pretty thirsty. Um, the three in the middle have a high pH level and they all have like a thicker bottle and they all have a bigger lid. The two on the side are both Niagara brands and they have the small lid and the thinner, cheaper plastic. Start with this big one liter bottle. good. I actually am pretty thirsty. I'm going to finish all five of these, I'm pretty sure. Um, this one has a high pH level. That's why it's called uh, um, Alkaline 8.8, because it has a pH level of 8.8. .8. But this also has some sodium in it. You know, all three of these in the middle have sodium in it. This one has five milligrams, and this is purified with reverse osmosis. This is bottled in Scottsdale, Arizona. Kind of like a hint of like fruit flavor. I think I said that in the first review. I don't think I've ever tasted a high pH level. I think the pH of waters just doesn't pick up in my senses. Aqualife 10 has a Claims to have a 10 pH level, which is the highest, I'm pretty sure it's the highest I've ever tasted. It also has like a hint of like fruit flavor to it. <laughs> this is also a BPA free bottle. This also has sodium in it, 3.3 milligrams. This also has potassium. 9.8 milligrams and the source of this water is Blue Springs in Hamilton, Georgia. I think the the Big Ten is, is good branding. Make it easy to recognize on a shelf. Aqualife is good branding too. It's like water life it's all good stuff but I mean the branding I'm not really factoring that into who wins the round um, the winner is which bottle of water tastes the best these two are very similar they're like the same size they were the same price mm. they market themselves as, has, as having a lot of similar stuff this is a premium oxygenated alkaline water. It says it's clinically proven to boost your immune system. That's what it says in one part of the bottle. And then on another part of the bottle, it says the statements are not evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This one actually tastes like it feels colder when it's going in my mouth. Yeah, that's like several degrees. I wish I had a thermometer with me so I could actually measure the temperatures of the water. Because all five of these have been sitting on top of that dresser right next to each other for the past few days. And this one definitely like feels colder. Um, do you remember that movie The Water Boy? Where he holds like a necklace or something he has this really special water that, like, glows. I think he says it's cold all the time. That's water from a glacier in Alaska. It, it was blessed by a, an Eskimo medicine man. It's 
it's cold. Yes, it's always cold. That, that's why it's so special. That's kind of like what this is like. It's like it feels colder than the other waters. Okay. Now the Niagara bottles of water. This is from Acadia water from the store Giant. This is from Niagara, bottled in Western Pennsylvania or Town City, Pennsylvania. That's what it says in the bottle. It says it's bottled in Western in Western Pennsylvania or in Town City. That's also what this refresh water says. It says the same exact thing. I'm guessing the water inside of these are just exactly the same. They're both from Niagara. But what I was saying about this Acadia water is it's from a store called Giant. It turns out there's two stores called Giant, and they're owned by the same parent company. Um, if you look this up on Wikipedia, this is all true. There's a company called A Hold, and they own two store franchises that are both called Giant. And at the top of the Wikipedia page, it says, like, not to be confused with this other Giant store. They have, like, different logos. It's so weird. Why don't they just combine the two? And have the same logo and have it be the same store, especially since they're owned by the same parent company. I, I don't get it. I don't know what else to say about that. So let's just open this up. And then in Pittsburgh, we have a store called Giant Eagle, which is also separate, but Giant Eagle is owned by a separate parent company, so it makes sense that it's separate. Yeah, just your standard Niagara water. Hmm. Tastes exactly the same. In the two reviews I did for these bottles, the two reviews for these were like exactly the same in round one. So I compared each of these to just a bigger version of themselves. So these two both had an easy time making it into this round because they were up against a purified version of themselves. There's really nothing wrong with these two. There's no bad aftertaste. You know, I would gladly drink these two on a regular basis, but they just don't taste as good as, as these three. Um, but it, I want to say this. It is nice doing a round two review where it's just still waters, because lately I've been doing a lot of reviews of sparkling waters and coconut waters and flavored waters and stuff, and I'm just not a fan of all that fancy stuff. It's, it's actually nice just doing some regular... Still good tasting waters. Um, but even though these are good, I'm going to eliminate these two from the competition. So it's down to these three. Um, this one tastes warmer. Like, it feels warmer going down for some reason. This one has some potassium in it. Maybe that's why there's, like, a hint of fruit flavor to it. Maybe it's the potassium. Is nine point six mil nine point eight milligrams of potassium. There's definitely a difference between this and distilled water. Like this has a slight taste to it. It's weird. Yeah, I I'm not just thinking this. Like Every single time I go back and forth, it feels like a different temperature. Which is so weird. Um, 
I want to talk about my trip to Philly. Apparently I'm running out of waters to review in Pittsburgh, so now I have to start traveling to other cities to get waters. Um, and that's really one of the main reasons I went on this little trip. I took a mega bus out there. Uh, the mega bus is awesome because it's super cheap. It's only five dollars for the ticket, which is what I paid. It goes up and down, but that's what I paid. Um, so I just walked around the city and took the bus around the city and just filled up my backpack with tons and tons of waters. Um, because I had to bring like extra bottles of these in case they make it to round three or round four or whatever. Um, and that's why I did the reviews of round one in Philly, so I wouldn't have to carry around waters with me. So I had a backpack on, I had a, another bag I was carrying with my hand. And when I got back home, I put the backpack and the bag I was holding on a scale. <laughs> it was, um, it was all very close to 60 pounds of water I was carrying around. <laughs> it's just pretty ridiculous, because it's not just these five. There's other bottles over there, which I'm going to review in the future, which is from Philly, too. Um, so that's a lot more than I expected to get on this trip, but I've got some more reviews ready to go in the future. Um, might go on another trip like that to another city. Let's see if I get some more. So yeah, I'm going to eliminate the Aqualife 10. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. But like I keep saying, it's like warmer than the other two. And there's a little bit too much of like extra flavor to it. Um, it's like a fruit flavor to it, which it's not bad. It doesn't taste bad or disgusting or anything like that. It's just that it doesn't taste as pure as just water, you know. Okay. All right. The alkaline water has seven milligrams of sodium. The bottle is BPA free. This is bottled by Extreme Technologies in Hayden, Idaho. There's lots and lots of claims on this bottle, which I, I read in the first round. It says the ultimate health and wellness water. Whew. And all three of these more expensive ones, I'm getting like a hint of fruit flavor or like cough syrup or something. I think it's must be the sodium they add to it. Maybe because it's ox oxygenated. This is called alkane water. Um, I guess that's like alchemy. The word alchemy means turning metals into gold. Maybe that's what this is named for. Yeah, these two are very close. They taste very, very similar. Um, this is a tough one. I'm just going to give it to the Alkane water, which is slightly better. So this one is um, moving on to the next round. I guess it's just more pure. It's like more of like a wet, wetter water, more heavy water. Um, it's kind of interesting how... It's got like a darker tint to it. Maybe that's to protect it from the sunlight. So stuff doesn't grow in it. I don't really know. I'm just guessing. But it's just worth pointing out. It's like a darker color to it. But I guess a bad thing about the darker color is if there was like dirt or if the, if the water itself was discolored you wouldn't be able to see that as well like with a colored bottle 
But anyway, I rambled on for a long time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Okay, is moving on to round three.